Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a times b. This is equal to 48. Let's call this equation 1. a plus b is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b from here? So let's prevent the solution. Now, from equation 2, which is a plus b, this is equal to 2. Let's make a to be the subject of the formula. And this implies that a is equal to 2 minus b. Let's call this equation 3. Let's substitute equation 3 into equation 1. Equation 1 is a times b which is equal to 48. Substituting a, in this case, we have b times 2 minus b. This is equal to 48. So we have b times 2. This is 2b minus b times b. This is b squared. This is equal to 48. Let's take 48 on the left-hand side so that we have 2b minus b squared minus 48, this is equal to 0. We can rearrange this equation so that here we have minus b squared plus 2b minus 48, this is equal to 0. Now, let's divide both signs by minus 1. So, minus b squared divided by minus 1, this is b squared then plus 2b divided by minus 1, this is minus 2b, then minus 48 divided by minus 1, this is plus 48, this is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2, and c equal to 48. So this implies that from this quadratic equation, we can solve for b1, and b2 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a so in this case let's substitute for the values of a b and c so that we have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared this is minus 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 48 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so in this case we have minus times minus 2 this is 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared this is 4 subtract 48 times 4 so we have 48 times 4 this is minus 192 everything here divided by 2 so that now here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 192 this is minus 188 divided by 2 so we have here 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 188 over 2 which we can express as 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 188 can be expressed as 4 times 47 times minus 1 divided by 2 so that now here we have 2 plus or minus here we have square root of 4 this is 2 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 47 everything here divided by 2 so that the next step from here 2 is common here we can factor out 2 into the parentheses this is 1 plus or minus i square root of 47. Everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here by 2 by 2. So that now here we have 1 plus or minus i square root of 47. Now this implies that from here we have that. This implies that from here b1 is equal to 1 plus i square root of 47 and we have that b2 is equal to 1 minus i square root of 47 
So let's solve for the corresponding values of a. Remember a is equal to, this is the same thing as 2 minus b. So this implies that a1 is equal to 2 minus b1, which is 1 plus i square root of 47. So in this case here, we have 2 minus 1, which is 1, minus times plus i square root of 47. This, this means we have minus i square root of 47. And therefore, the first set of solution, that is a1, comma b1, this is equal to 1 minus i square root of 47, comma b1, which is equal to 1 plus i square root of 47. So this is the first set of solution that we have from here. Let's check for a2. Remember a2 is equal to 2 minus b2. b2 in this case is 1 minus i square root of 47. And this implies that here we have 2 minus 1. This is 1 minus times minus i square root of 47 plus i square root of 47. And this implies that a2 comma b2, this is the same thing as, this is the same thing as 1 plus i square root of 47, comma b2, in this case is 1 minus i square root of 47. So this is the second set of solution that we have. So let's verify that a1, b1, and a2, b2 satisfies the equation as follows. Let's verify that these two set of solutions, a1, b1, and a2, b2, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall from here, we have that from equation 1, a times b, this is equal to 48. This is supposed to give us a value 48. This is equation 1. Equation b is a plus b, this is supposed to give us a value of 2 from here. So let's substitute a1, b1 into equation 1, so that now here we have 1 minus i square root of 47, multiplying by 1 plus i square root of 47. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. So this implies that here we have 1 times, this is 1 plus i square root of 47. Then subtract i square root of 47. Multiplying by, this is 1 plus i square root of 47. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. The next step is that we have 1 times 1, this is 1, 1 times plus i square root of 47, this is plus i square root of 47, then minus i square root of 47 times 1, so this is minus i square root of 47, then minus i square root of 47 times plus i square root of 47, so this implies that here we have minus i squared multiplying by square root of 47 times square root of 47. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. Now, this implies that here, i square root of 47 minus i square root of 47 simplifies so that we have 1 minus i squared. This is the same thing as minus 1. So let's substitute this minus 1 here. So we have minus 1 multiplying by square root of 47 times square root of 47. Cross the parentheses, this is supposed to give us a value of 48. So here we have 1 minus times minus, this is plus square root of 47 times square root of 47. This is square root of 47 times square root of 47. This should give us a value of 48. Remember square root of a times square root of a, this is the same thing as a. 
Therefore, we have 1 plus 47. This should give us a value of 48. So 47 plus 1, this is 48, which is equal to 48. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, this implies that A1B1 satisfies the equation. So let's check A2B2 by applying equation 2 from here. So equation 2, that is equation 2, we have A plus B. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. So we have 1 plus i square root of 47, then plus 1, subtract i square root of 47. This is supposed to give us a value of 2. So i square root of 47, subtract i square root of 7 simplifies, so that we have 1 plus 1, this is equal to 2, which is equal to 2. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that A1, B1, and A2, B2 satisfies the equation. So can you refer the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Country, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.